Okay, welcome to our video demo of our beautiful rebuilt Bridgeport running machine. Uh, it's had a reground table, all new lead screws, full strip down service, all the head rebuilt, hull rebuilt, brand new bearings in the quill and the spindle, uh, all new bearings and belts in the head, loads of work, loads of time, loads of money spent on the head. Uh, so let's see this machine running. If you would like a machine that looks just like this, uh, check us out on gtmachineparts.co.uk where you can actually order all the bits individually as well. You don't have to buy the whole machine. You can order the DROs on our new website, which is also gtprecision.co.uk. So for every machine listed, not just bridge ports, any type of lathe, any type of mill, even like really big stuff, you know, um, Dean Smith Grace lathes, that sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's see this machine running and we'll go from there. So this one's got a 48 inch table, it's all re-ground table and so on. Absolutely lovely all the way across, brand new lead screws, brand new nuts. Super smooth, same with the Y, super smooth all the way across. You should be able to see the wax is running on the DRO there. Absolutely spot on. And the knee, all been serviced. Brand new bearings in the knee, brand new lead screw, absolutely spot on. Uh, new light, LED light, that's all lovely. And all the locks have been serviced, of course, X, Y, and the knee all serviced and working as we should. The lube system has all been serviced, so brand new lube pipe, metering units, and so on. All the pump is working as it should. Uh, the spindle has been re ground, and uh, brand new spindle bearings in, of course. Okay, so um, the guarding system, you need to close it. Uh, this customer's asked for a slightly larger guard for more protection. We can you can specify any guard you want, we'll put whatever you like on. But these are quite good. Um, so this one will shut down if you go like this. And it also shuts down if you go like that. You can see it's, it's quite versatile. You can work on the, on the machine really easily. And you just pull this pin out and it goes back to the lock position. So it's really nice, offers really good protection. Okay, so you need to close the guard before you fire up. So once it's closed, you just make sure your, your spindle isn't on there, and then press the green button down the bottom here. Machine initializes, and then you can start the spindle. So we're currently running at 1,000 RPM. Here are quiet, that is absolutely lovely. Uh, and in reverse as well. Just as quiet in reverse. Okay, so we'll go all the way to the top, 1800 RPM, that's 2700, we're back down again, all the way to 550 RPM, let you listen to that for a second, and reverse now, just as quiet in reverse. There's 900, 1300, 2000, and 2700 again. Absolutely spot on. Okay, so that's high range now. So we're going to change it now to low. So move this handle out of the way. It's a quick release handle, so notice the spindle isn't moving. It's a really nice system. Okay, so push this handle in, turn it round. I'm locking in at the back, make sure it's locked in. Sometimes you need to move the spindle just to get the gears to mesh. Okay, so we are at 300 RPM, just as quiet in low range. 130, and back down to 70 RPM. Absolutely not on. Reverse is the same, just as quiet. 140. Two, uh, 260 350 absolutely just press the brake just to show you it does work and then push this handle in again come round to the neutral position there and you'll see the uh, you can three wheel the spindle so neutral is present push the handle in and we're just going to turn the spindle slightly let's get lock it in there we go high range running spot on. So we'll get it back down to a more sensible spindle speed before we engage the quill. 
just to note, you shouldn't have the, uh, the spindle going anywhere near 3,000 RPM if you've got the quill engaged. It does tell you here on this plate as well. Okay, so I'm going to engage the quill now. Turn the spindle, engage the quill. knob, in or out, not in the middle, for neutral, okay, and then engage. Just one thing, if it, if it doesn't engage straight away, you've probably got this on one of the stops, so just reposition, just have another, another look at it, it should just go in dead easy. Okay, disengage that, re-engage again, goes in fine, so we're on the highest feed rate, so for every spindle speed we've got three different feed rates, that's the highest. That's the slowest when it's horizontal, and that's the medium when it's at the bottom. All working as we should. And there we go. All feeding spot on. Now this one hasn't got a quill scale DRO, but it is a 4-axis console, so the customer can add it at any time if he wants to. Okay, oh, shuts down automatically as it should. Right, we're going to reverse the feed now. Remember, come off the stop. You must come off the stop or it won't, it won't engage. Reverse it by pushing the feed knob in. Engage again, and see we're now feeding off. So it's all working spot on. Turn it off, and I'll just reverse it again, just to show you. There we go. Reverse is fine, it's now feeding down. Okay, disengage that. I move the handle to the top. I'm going to put the quill lock on. Quill locks as it should. But you can still move this multi position handle wherever you want it to be. Okay, so if you're not using the machine, if you're not using the quill for any length of time, just turn the, turn the quill off. Like that. Simple as that. Otherwise, just wearing out means. Okay, so I uh, hope you've enjoyed the demo. Uh, again, if you do want a machine like this, check us out on gtmachineparts.co.uk or just order a DRO on gtprecision.co.uk. We've got all sorts of machines listed for every website. Thanks for watching. Yo, please press subscribe. <laughs>